In this video, we're going to get creative with blend modes. These are really easy to apply and can completely transform the look of any photo in just a few clicks. Blend modes are basically rules for how pixels on two or more layers interact and work together to create a resulting colour. PhotoPlus comes with a variety of blend modes, which are available from the drop down list on the Layers tab. At the moment, the drop down list is greyed out. This is because there is only one layer on the tab, which is the background layer. The best way to understand blend modes is seeing them in action, so let's look at an example. Today, we'll look at applying a grayscale textured effect to an image using blend modes. As you can see, I've already opened the photo I'm going to work with. Now I'm going to open my texture. On the standard toolbar above your photo, click Open. Browse to the location where your photos are stored and select a texture. I'm going to use a brick wall, but you can choose any texture you like. Then, click Open. The photo has been opened as a new document and is displayed in the Documents tab at the bottom of the workspace. Open the Edit menu at the top and click Copy. On the Documents tab, select your photo and then open the Edit menu and click Paste as new layer. The texture has been added to the Layers tab as Layer 1. From the Tools toolbar on the left, open the Deform Tools flyout and select the Deform tool. A bounding box will appear around the edge of your textured image. Drag on the corner handles to resize the texture. Hold down the Shift key while you drag to maintain the aspect ratio. Click and drag on the texture to move it into position. You can also rotate it using the corner handles if required. To better visualise how blend modes work, I'm going to convert this image to black and white. Make sure the textured layer is selected on the Layers tab and then on the Adjustments tab, select Black and White. Adjust individual colour channels via the sliders on the tab for a polished finish. At the moment, we can't see the photo beneath the texture. This is where blend modes come in. Remember to reselect the layer containing your texture before applying blend modes. As we've got more than one layer in our project now, you may have noticed that the blend modes drop down list is enabled. Click the down arrow to view available blend modes. The best way to browse blend modes is using the arrow keys on your keyboard. Simply click the down arrow to move down the list for a live preview of each. Each blend mode produces a different effect, so it's worth browsing all the way down the list to see what works best for your photo. In this example, the photo and texture work really well together and produce a striking finish. If your texture is a bit too prominent, you can adjust layer opacity for a more subtle result. Click the arrow next to opacity and adjust the slider, or type a value into the box. Before we finish, let's have a quick look at using blend modes with gradient fills. I've opened another photo in the workspace. At the bottom of the Layers tab, click New Fill or Adjustment Layer, and then click Fill Layer. Give your layer a name. I'll call mine Gradient Fill, and then click OK. The Edit Fill dialog will appear. Here, you can change the fill type and colour. From the Fill Type drop-down list, I'll choose Linear. The fill box below will change to show a gradient fill. Click on this fill and you'll be able to select a gradient. There are lots of preset fill categories available, but for now I'll choose one of the default swatches. You can also set your own gradient in this dialog. See Photo Plus Help for more information. When you're happy, click OK twice to exit both dialogs. As in the previous example, ensure the gradient fill layer is selected, and then browse the blend modes from the drop-down list. The great thing about blend modes is that there is so much choice, so you're almost always guaranteed a great result regardless of what photo you use. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed experimenting with blend modes. To find out more about PhotoPlus, see the Learn section at the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.